It's been estimated that yields of major agricultural crops need to increase by over 2% a year to feed an ever-increasing population. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's been estimated that agriculture, agricultural production uh, may contribute something like 10 to 12 percent to greenhouse gas emissions, and that figure could even be uh, as high as 20 percent if you take in broader issues such as deforestation. So there's a huge need for, for new research um, to uh, make agricultural uh, production both more efficient but also more climate smart and that needs smart research to achieve that climate smart uh, outcome. So one of the things that we're doing to support this process is to develop uh, collections of key review chapters on each of the major crops. By bringing all this research together we would like to give researchers a helpful foundation, a platform uh, on which they can build their own research that bit more effectively. So, what crops have we chosen and, and why? Well, obviously one of the main considerations in choosing a crop is its uh, overall um, global importance in terms of production and, and value. And you think of crops like wheat and, and rice and maize in that category. But we've also targeted crops which have a particular importance in the developing world. A good example of that are grain legumes, which are widely regarded as a, as a key food security crop um, in sub-Saharan Africa and, uh, and other parts of the developing world. We've also uh, targeted uh, crops that may meet those sorts of criteria, but are also very widely grown. You can think of an example such as mangoes that are, are grown in, in 90 odd countries in the world. That means um, that there's also a range of diverse experience, but there's also a diverse research base and research centres active in mango research, where if we can bring that research uh, together in one convenient, accessible package, then we're going to make the life of researchers that much, um, that much easier, we hope. And of course we've taken advice from key um, experts. Uh, a couple that I particularly like to mention are uh, Professor M.S. Swaminathan, who was the winner of the, uh, the first World uh, Food Prize, and Professor Rudy Rubinge, who's the Emeritus Professor of Sustainable Development at Wageningen University. So that's a little bit on um, some of the criteria for choosing um, particular crops. So what crops are there? Well, for example, we've um, got collections on a, a range of the major cereal crops, such as rice, wheat, and maize. We're developing collections on uh, roots, tubers, and pulses, such as grain legumes or cassava, fruits and vegetables, such as tomatoes, apples, and mangoes, and other crops, such as uh, soybean, which have a, a range of important uses whether as a food ingredient, as an animal feed or increasingly as, as people will be aware uh, for use in biofuel. So with each collection uh, what we're going to do is gather in these review articles by major experts in three main areas. One is breeding, the second is cultivation techniques, for example, uh, better soil, uh, water and nutrient management. And finally, because it's such a, a, an important area, on pests, diseases and weeds and how they're effectively managed. So what we hope to do is bring together uh, a series of these collections on all these crops to, f to basically to provide a systematic database of the key research trends that you as a researcher can use to, to, to inform uh, and make your own research um, uh, that bit better. Uh, and we look forward to working with you with those collections.